Hey there, bro. So just time to have a look at your uh, def uh, attack setup. So uh, your alpha uh, platoon, I do get um, the... I still think, though, you could probably drop down to, uh, to two tanks as opposed to four. I know the Abraham doesn't take the punishment, but, you know, with the upgrades that you've got now and the uh, defence uh, options you've got on that, I think you, it's probably uh, good enough to work. And if you can get your um, extra M270s in there, I think that would absolutely work perfect. So I think the ideal setup is probably two uh, tanks, uh, more M270s, lose the, the Humvee and possibly have an extra, um, you know, Zeus or three Zeuses, how I used to work. Um, I don't know why your Humvee's in there, maybe for quick clear up. Uh, I mean, you could you could just drop one chopper in uh, and have that as your final sort of uh, mop up uh, type system. I found that worked uh, quite well. Uh, but yeah, definitely... Uh, I would drop two tanks and go for an extra uh, couple of M270s. Just use your tank for obviously bullet stopping and then the M270 just needs to take it out. Uh, I mean, depending on what you're taking on, if you're taking like turrets uh, such as the uh, Peacemaker, there is the baiting technique. If you don't know that, let me know and I'll sort that out for you. And uh, same if you're taking on uh, howitzers, uh, there's the baiting technique for that as well. So, uh, you know, that should enable you to, if you're quick enough and, and disciplined enough, you should be able to lose uh, two tanks. Um, I mean, certainly going forward, the uh, Macabre, as soon as you get that to level four, swap that for your um, Abrahams because you'll tend to find it's a much better tank. As soon as you get your uh, Macabre to level eight, like you have your M270s, uh, it unlocks the red eye, but uh, more importantly, it unlocks the machine gun. Um, so if you can get your machine gun uh, obviously upgraded, that's like having uh, that uh, the uh, Humvee that you're aiming for. You, you end up the uh, basically the tank doing the job of the Humvee. So uh, that will obviously help a great deal. I suspect you've got that in there because of, of mowing down troops maybe or, or clearing up at the end as I've said. But for me, that's probably where the M2, uh, that's where the uh, Zeus comes into its own as well. Um, so on toss, um, you're not going to use that in attack, I don't think. But I do use that uh, quite a bit in defence. Uh, I've got that in my second slot, so that that uh, can be quite uh, useful. So uh, certainly experiment with that. Uh, I don't know if you played the the event recently. At the very end, there was two um, peacemaker turrets and a couple of ontos and if you got there with your uh, m270 or gm gmlrs it just absolutely knacked them if you weren't careful so it really is quite an effective uh, uh, vehicle uh, force recon by the way and mores uh, I'm, i've not used mores a great deal so i mean whether you want to upgrade those or not is entirely up to yourself i did see a few people do uh, certain events with them but uh, since the um, the high mars come on i think that's kind of uh, formed by the wayside uh, but mortar men work very well in defense uh, force recon work very well in defense and force recon uh, if you keep it uh, cc7 for as long as you can and get your mercs um, obviously uh, uh, up to spec you'll tend to find that uh, a predominantly um, a Merc setup with 10 force recon is absolutely fantastic for the rise event and um, that and then that could give you like um, the um, uh, the uh, blah, blah, blah. blueprints for the um, uh, what's she called blueprints for the Avenger uh, and I even got the spooky the other day, um, so you know that's quite worth doing the uh, the event for. Um, so next steps yet yeah, certainly uh, if you can get your Zeus any more than uh, than six, uh, absolutely fantastic. Striker again, I've never used a great deal, but there was a theory that if you got your strikers upgraded, it made your fob strength uh, better. As soon as you hit level four, I think strikers come into play, so that could be well worth looking at. Uh, rocket buggies never used a great deal, uh, so whether you want to upgrade those, I have used them in certain events, but I just found them too too flimsy. Uh, Macabre is certainly where it needs to be at, um, so I have a little look at getting that sorted, and possibly even getting your Charlie platoon upgraded as well, so that you've got uh, three platoons at your disposal, just so you've got obviously different strategies would be uh, quite useful. Um, so that's looking good. 
Um, at your level, Guardian, uh, worth upgrading in the sense that, again, it will make your next level of FOB better. Uh, but it's worth note uh, that a lot of people felt that when they had a level 3 helicopter FOB with, say, level 10 ga uh, Cobras, if they upgraded to a level 4 FOB, which was one level 1 Guardian, for example, that they were going to have a massive step down. Um, your Guardian gets a 300% uh, boost uh, when you um, turn it into a FOB uh, level 4. So... If, for example, it had, um, I don't know, a thousand health, then it'd have uh, three thousand health, uh, which is far, far better than any Cobra. And you, you'd notice that as soon as you upgrade it, how well it takes flak damage compared to the others. So that would uh, be good. Um, now, looking at um, your defenders in your uh, your war factory here, looks like obviously you've put Macarvers into there. Now, just be careful because every Macarver you build at this early stage. Is crits that you're not going to have for upgrading so don't build any more until you get them to sort of level four five six even as long as you can spare it because that means every single uh, crit and common is used for upgrading because you need to get that to level eight uh, as soon as humanly possible can't stress that enough it's an absolutely wicked vehicle when it's done Um, so Thunderbolt versus Raptor. Now, Thunderbolt targets a building, Raptor targets an area, so Raptor's the far superior uh, plane. Um, with you having uh, both unlocked here, because normally you get Thunderbolt and then later on you get your Raptor, so you obviously maybe late in the day for your Thunderbolt. That Raptor, though, I tell you what, mate. I mean, if you if you if you've got say three or four tanks uh, parked in front of you, um, shooting the shit out of you, and you send your Raptor uh, along, it will target the tanks. Uh, I suppose a Thunderbolt, which can only target a building. I've got Raptors to level six, nearly seven now. Absolutely devastating. You can take about four turrets out in one go. Really, really good. Uh, you know, uh, plan to use at the right time. Um, I don't use Avengers much apart from obviously my air defence, uh, the uh, the Avengers are, are, are stronger, but I tell you what, occasionally now I've got my Raptors up to up to speed and really you need two, maybe even three Raptors in a uh, in a um, in a, an attack using one, you'll think, well this Raptor's a bit shit, but when you've got two, uh, you kind of suss how it works and you've got to kind of judge where you would, you hit because sometimes if you hit uh, press in the wrong place it'll actually hit the wall before the target so you've got to kind of experiment uh, the correct sweet spot uh, but get two or three of them in one attack and I tell you what mate absolutely superb and in fact what I do is I have say three Raptors and then say uh, two Reapers or two Avengers and I send the Avengers uh, in first and then obviously the flak locks onto those and obviously they're going to get killed straight away but it's just enough time to get the Raptors straight in behind them and guess what like all these type of baiting techniques uh, everything locks on to the, uh, the Reaper or the Avenger around the Raptor and then your Raptor gets out uh, hopefully scot free um so yeah that's certainly worth considering um fobs we've mentioned you need to get them uh, looked at airfield we've mentioned you've got room to get that upgraded as well of course um, and it's all about the grind um, I noticed earlier you said you were going to go on to um, Striker, the PvP, absolutely fantastic. I've got something like um, 7,000 in for me, so I get 80k uh, metal just for uh, winning, um, so well worth uh, having a look at. Um, Hind, don't use much in attack personally, but good in, in defence. The fact that you've got um, the Zeus, which a lot of people haven't, uh, means you're actually pretty okay when a helicopter's attack. Uh, you know, a lot of people, if you if you lose your Zeus or haven't got your Zeus, taking large uh, scale helicopters out, um, you know, is is, is hard work um, and causes a lot of damage. Um, so the fact that you've got the Zeus, always have two or three Zeus um, trailing behind or coming alongside. You know, your M27s and things like that because they're absolutely devastating for troops. Um, so yeah, certainly you uh, you know keep going where you're at. Um, I've been really impressed, mate. I think you've uh, you've got a good setup. Uh, obviously, it's early days for you now, but I tell you what, you 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 where you need to be. Things are progressing nicely. Uh, keep up the fantastic work, mate. It's a great uh, pleasure having you in the team, uh, and I look forward to uh, watching you grow and get strong. Cheers, bro.